Welcome everybody to Krakow, Poland. Uh, today we are here to speak about love, but uh, not love for the architecture, which is super, super nice and colorful uh, here in Poland. And uh, not even love uh, between the two brothers that uh, they did kill each other to build the tallest tower. It's a very interesting legend. Maybe I'm gonna explain it uh, during a stream. And uh, anyway, we are here to speak about love between a man and a woman, between a guy and a girl. So be careful, listen to me, don't ever get in love in Krakow. My story starts not so far from the biggest square in Europe, therefore we need to rent a scooter and move south. Okay guys, so let's get one. Life is totally too easy with the scooter and uh, I don't want to be one of these lazy asses that forgets how to walk, but if you need to shoot a video, there is nothing better to get uh, to a location like that. Not sweating, I mean. <laughs> so, in uh, 2010, uh, I came uh, for the first time in Poland by myself. Uh, by myself, I mean uh, that uh, my mom is from Poland and usually we were going to Poland with the whole family, but in this case, <laughs> oh my goodness, it changed my life. So, I wasn't uh, staying in front of the castle and uh, near the dragon, but uh, on the other side of the river. Do we really need to cross that bridge? Maybe we do. I'm just being lazy. It's not a warm day, it's summer. It's pretty weird, but I'm gonna do it. This uh, scooter ride is gonna cost me like my flight uh, to Poland, but uh, at least uh, we get a very, very nice view of the castle. Plus, guys, where I want to go is exactly on the other side of the street and there is no way to cross it. I think I need to go down there. Why am I doing this? Oh, gosh. Sometimes the scooter life, it is not so exciting. Here it will get worse. Well, this place in the last 10 years totally didn't change. But this school totally did. Now, thanks to the European fans, it's super modern, clean. They have stuff for kids. It's totally, totally different from the way it was in the past. In the past, it totally looked like a communist building. Well, we were in Poland. It is a bit creepy that a guy is filming a school, so... I'm leaving it. I'm gonna tell you this story on the river on the other side of uh, this wall. And in the meantime, I left this four dollars. Four dollars. Oh, the bus is coming. So many years ago, Poland wanted to promote Poland to all the kids of uh, Polish families abroad. By Polish families, you would need uh, just one requirement, one relative from Poland. In my case, it was uh, my mother. And uh, this thing uh, totally messed up uh, my life plans. <laughs> it was a summer camp, two weeks, two weeks where uh, you needed to study Polish every day, at least five hours in the morning, maybe some games uh, in the evening, I don't know. But uh, the moment I did enter that school, my goodness, I was already attracted to one girl and uh, it was like that, so, so quickly. But uh, my Polish sucked, her English sucked and uh, it was very, very hard to connect uh, with her. You probably, probably, you cannot get in love with a person you are not able to talk to. And uh, of course, 24 or 36 hours later, another girl arrived. Oh my gosh. Practically, she was brunette, she had blue eyes, her mother was from Poland, her father was from ex-Yugoslavia, let's call it like that. <laughs> uh, not only she was beautiful in my eyes, but we were able to communicate. Uh, you see, communicating is important. It uh, took me about 10 days to kiss her, so if you ask me, it's a bit of uh, too much time. If you ask someone else, uh, it could require years. 
but oh food uh, hello hello i skipped breakfast today i'm doing fasting i skipped also lunch <laughs> i don't know why but i wouldn't eat them those over there they are like uh, water chickens but them i don't know they are a bit too royal where was i mm. <laughs> ah suddenly the two weeks ended and uh, we had a very very weird moment i tried to be super super romantic which is never suggested guys be more direct don't be romantic i mean unless she deserves it i rented the motorbike and uh, we went around krakow by the way i didn't know how to drive a motorbike i learned how to drive a motorbike uh, last year in vietnam oh gosh no no, no. and uh, she was so scared <laughs> I mean, I never seen a person so scared that she asked me to park the motorbike and when we parked the motorbike, her eyes got wet and we were like, uh, okay, what have I done? Uh, do I drive so badly? And uh, yes, I know, I know I drive so badly, but uh, what happened? She was like, you know, this is uh, like every summer story. You will forget me. You are trying to use me and uh, it will end like that probably and i was like no there is no chance it will end like that i'm coming to montenegro <laughs> oh i told you the nation <laughs> i'm coming uh, uh, i blurred that i'm coming to ex yugoslavia <laughs> and uh, so a couple of weeks later i was there in her country and uh, I met her friends, uh, we had some friends in common thanks to this school. Uh, the situation was super, super nice. I thought the best ever, like, oh, I'm gonna get married with this girl. I was so young, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get married. Can you believe that? Anyway, the situation seemed perfect, but when I got back to Italy, she blocked me. I don't remember if uh, at the time, 10 years ago, there was WhatsApp but I was blocked on every possible social. For sure there was no Facebook, or we didn't have, or we did, I don't know. I was blocked uh, on the phone, I was blocked on the email, I was blocked everywhere. And uh, I didn't know why. It took me years to realize why I was blocked. And the reason was that a friend that we had in common told her that I was coming uh, to her country just for sex, which, didn't even happen what a loser i know i know guys i'm so sorry so when you're too romantic it never works never be romantic if you want that don't be romantic anyway <laughs> i didn't go to that country for sex i was in love i was in total total love for her but she blocked me for like three years so i found out about this situation a bit too late she was like misguided that uh, this bitch over there that probably was jealous told her that i was coming just uh, to make her open her legs and uh, <laughs> and uh, anyway all good you know what happened because i had uh, so many beautiful experiences because i had so many beautiful memories uh, even if she disappeared i was in love uh, with this beauty and uh, you know what happens when uh, you are a traveler inside your heart, you move. And I moved to Poland, Krakow, in 2011. And uh, since then, I've always been in love with Poland, even more. Before I was like, I'm half Polish, uh, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. Now I'm like, uh, I'm half Polish and I do love Poland, which they are totally two different things. Because when I was a king, a king <laughs> when i was a kid i don't know maybe i was a king in my past life when i was a kid if you told to anybody that your mother was from poland they would think oh she's a prostitute oh such a bitch she came here in italy for money and i was telling nobody that my mother was from poland probably until high school the first time i told someone that my mother was from poland it was in high school and the reception was so so but uh, they were like, oh yeah, at least they are beautiful girls. Anyway guys, this whole story 
to make you understand uh, to never get in love uh, with a girl in Krakow otherwise you're gonna move here uh, you're probably gonna rent a room on the river like I did and uh, you will spend uh, the night uh, killing spider after spider before falling asleep so it's not so suggested but the pleasure for the art <laughs> let's say art <laughs> it's unbelievable and uh, this country is so so beautiful incredible food incredible ladies incredible food incredible ladies no incredible country but for real no for real i do love this country and uh, after years and years of hiding it i'm super super proud that i have the polish passport the polish id and that uh, i can speak polish somehow i cannot read it i mean i can read it i cannot write it Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading and believe in your dreams. I'm so happy to be in Poland and I hope one day you will visit Poland starting from Krakow. Krakow is the first place to visit when you come here in Poland.